everyone it's Nona Grace yesterday when I was watching my video this is see I, I, my husband, <laughs> he has no clue what's gonna come out of my mouth because this is not something we just talked about but yesterday when I was watching my video I noticed that my eyes were looking deader and deader and deader like I must be staring into the into the um, lens and it was like when you when I used to take pictures of my granddaughter, she used to have the deadest eyes. I said, have some sparkle in your eyes. Well, I'm finding that it's hard to do when you're just looking at a lens and you look at the lens for a long time. Well, what I'm going to talk about today is I want to tell you, oh, my husband's trying to move so I see him. <laughs> He's going along the counter. He's sitting on it. And when the kids used to climb up on the counter and I used to tell them, get down but no he sits on it that's okay he can sit on it <laughs> oh gosh now where am I going with this video I have no idea um, I was gonna tell you that he was working on his gold wing and it started up it's not all together but it started up so it will run so that was a good thing because the parts came in today and he was putting them in and it looks much better but it's still not together but the hole is gone and the motor ran which is a good sign okay then um, earlier today I, I may have mentioned that I have two rental houses and the reason I have the two rental houses is that it was supposed to be my retirement is what I was thinking when I get old I just collect the money from the rental houses well I have um, one house my daughter lives in which means the rents extremely almost like no rent and for her and then another apartment there's a man that lives in there and then the upstairs I've kept empty because I'm afraid to put anybody in it I'm afraid they'll ruin it I did have some bad renters in there and we fixed it up and then I rented it out and the people that were there they took good care of it and then they moved on well I got news today that the lady that's in my other house is going to be moving out in December so this means I'm going to have to heat the house through the winter months and the upstairs apartment again. I did that last year. So I was thinking maybe this is a good time to sell the house. I was listening to a bunch of videos on how to choose a realtor and what to do when you're going to sell a house. And they sort of give you ideas, but they skirt around them because they really aren't going to give you any real information they want you to contact them I think is what they really want because you're never really you, you know they say they're going to talk about something and then they never even really hit on it very much they may say the words but that's about it well I was looking at some of the cards that we get in the mail I've got three of them three cards one two three and what it is is they show that they've sold like this guy I'll cover my my address our current address it says oh that's okay but anyways it says that he was selling this house and it sold then this person said they were selling this house and it sold then this person I thought oh good I've only got two to choose from but then I got another card in the mail and it said and this person whoops and this person sold this house so it's like okay they all sold a house and they're all from they're, the same company from the same company. same company yeah so do I choose a boy or do I choose a girl now the one's first name is Alexander one is Edward and one is Brandy and it's like I would just probably call the company and ask to talk to them and see what the what the I don't even I don't even know what you're supposed to do to sell a house I did sell a house once all by myself I sold it for six days six it took me six days to sell it I didn't use a realtor I just put it on the market and then I had to get a variance for it because it wasn't a full two acres because there was a road that came in that divided the property and a small piece was on the other side of the road now so I had to get a variance because I didn't want to sell it with that little piece on the other side of the road and, and then I had to contact the lawyer and do that part. Well, 
it seemed like, and I got a, a guy to give me appraisal of what the property was worth so I'd know what to sell it for. And I could, probably could do that with this, but I'm just too lazy. But I don't know what to do with realtors either. I've never contacted a realtor other than when we bought our house, we had a realtor. The other two houses I bought on the auction, so there was no realtors involved. We just went to, to um, Mayville and we're in a school and the auctioneer is going and Jim had the card and I said, raise it. No, don't raise it. Raise it. Tax auction. Or tax auction, yeah. It was a tax auction. Houses that were going up for foreclosure. So that's how we got these houses. And we've had them long enough now to where what we paid in the foreclosure and all the repairs that we've put in it, we've actually now are in the green, I guess you would say, instead of in the red. But we did put a roof on the one last summer. Last summer, yeah, we put, and the year before that we put a roof on the other one. And the year before that we put a roof on ours or something in like that. Well, three years we've been putting roofs on. We put a roof on one house, then our house, then the other house. And so it cost us a lot of money to do that. But the houses are still okay. But if I have to heat them in the winter, now it's going to cost me. So I have to decide how I'm going to do this. So tomorrow I think I will try to call a realtor and find out the process so I can choose somebody to do this. Now my daughter is going to be very angry with me because she goes... She lives in one of the apartments, and she's really old enough now to take care of herself. But, I guess I'm like a mother hen. <laughs> I'm not like the mother hen, really. The mother hen will, after eight weeks, decides that her she shoes her babies away. And, really, we should do it at age 18, and she's, gonna, she's 28, and I still haven't done it. I know you're all going to... Give me in the comments. It's about yeah. time. Yeah, she's 28. She'll be 29, yeah. 29 in 29 December. December. She's going to be 29. She's not there yet. Yeah. And I was trying to decide whether I should hold on to the house until she's 30. But you know what? She's got to start to spread her own wings. She um, went to college and she owes us. I would like my college money back is what I'd like. And she had a big debt of... of personal debt and that's almost paid for that will be paid for this year but the college stuff has not been and the other kids didn't go to college so I feel like she really should pay that back so I'm thinking maybe she might have to get herself a real loan pay the college back and then make payments to the bank or wherever she borrows the money from this ought to be a really eye-opening shock to her system but anyways, that's what I was talking going to talk about. I believe just it's going to start talking about realtor real estate and stuff like that. And see how it works and how let you know what I find out. I did go to the gym. I'll put a little tab of that in there. I did go to the gym and I did work on the um, upper and the lower body. And what he was saying is that one day you do upper and one day you do lower. And I says, "Well, can I do both of them at the same day and he says well yeah but you can't do them two days in a row and I said don't worry I'm not coming two days in a row because I will just go Monday Wednesday and Friday and I he put me on different machines with the weights and um, he was really impressed I do have stronger upper body but you know it's all those push-ups and pull-ups I think I've done my legs are not as strong as my upper body but they will get there well that's it for today I, oh, and Jim had a doctor's appointment. <laughs> he goes, oh, you're going to mention that. I probably will. Um, he had a lady this time. He usually has a man. You know, we women have had men doctors, which has always been, mm, it's kind of okay, but it's not. And now I have a lady one, and he had to, he got, I won't go into it. He, he it's, I don't, <laughs> I'll just leave it alone. That's all right. I'll, you just, want to go I'll just leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. <laughs> but anyways, he had a lady this time, and she had to check nurse, things. Nurse practitioner. A nurse practitioner, yes. Instead of the guy that she, he, the guy he used to have has got, he does it by Skype or some other way. But anyways, okay. Well, we won't. We will leave it alone and make him happy. And 
I will talk to you again at another time. So you have a great day. Bye. Thank you.